Okay. Hey guys, what is up? We are going to the Jack in the Box. Maybe the same Jack in the Box that Britney Spears went to. Maybe. Um, okay. I have a lot to talk about. I have a lot to talk about with Britney, okay? And Jack in the Box and this whole situation because y'all know, I'm, this is all always in support of uh, Britney if, if, if that triggers you, whatever. But I'm always going to be Team Britney. But like also everyone should be Team Britney on this. Okay. So I'm just going to go through. I want to try. They have like a frozen hot chocolate. I don't know. I don't like Jack in the Box that much, but we're just going to go through anyways. Yeah, they have a frozen hot chocolate. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, yes. Um, could I get a large frozen hot chocolate? We only have iced coffee. Oh, you don't have the hot cocoa shake? Oh, the shake? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay, you want a regular or large? Large, please. Okay. What else for you? And, um, do you guys have the curly fries right now? Yeah. Okay, can I just get a uh, medium curly fry? Okay. That's it. Thank you. Frozen hot cocoa shake. Not frozen hot chocolate. <laughs> my bad. That was my bad. It literally said that. <gasps> Please tell me I brought my wallet. Okay, thank God. Oh my God. Do they take Apple Pay at places now? Apple Pay at places? I don't know. Okay, great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Any sauce, ketchup for your honey No, thank you. I don't need it. Thank you. I got my new purse. Juicy Couture, not Balenciaga. Thank you so much. Finally changed out of the Balenciaga purse. I do not have time for that. Thank you so much. You too. over and talk about this because it's been weighing on my mind um so if Brady Stewart ever wants to go to Jack in the Box girl I'll drive you I'll deal with the window oh what she got in the fan fave box it has like little churros and curly fries and mini tacos okay last time I came to Jack in the Box I was like actually disgusting but I used to love Jack in the Box so like that really broke my heart that it was like not good okay I'm really excited for this frozen hot chocolate though. It's like the morning time, by the way, if you were wondering why I asked if they had fries. It's like literally 9 a.m. and I'm picking a frozen hot cocoa shake and fries. Because why? Because it's my filming date. This is my job. This is what I do. This is, yeah. Oh, there's a Mega Millions. Oh, the Mega Millions is 400 million tonight. Oh my God, I gotta get it. Maybe I get it here. Maybe this was a sign that I get it here. I always get quick picks and I always play like a certain number. Um, like, yeah, hoping I'm going to win. And I have a lot to, like, cash in, actually. So maybe I'll go cash in. All right, it's overcast. So, like, every, everything is going to be good lighting today. How do I park? I haven't parked this one in so long. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited for this hot cocoa shake. Sorry. But let's actually talk about it. But let's actually take a sip of this first. Mmm. Mmm. It's thick. Frozen hot cocoa shake. Is that just, like, a frozen... Is it just a chocolate shake? <laughs> hmm. I guess it tastes a little cocoa-y. Mm -hmm. It's sick. Yeah, it tastes a little different than a chocolate shake. It's pretty good. I actually get that like you know, out of 10. It's the morning, so it's hard for me to drink a shake, but very good. So. Shakes are so good. They really are. Okay, Jack and Box redeeming themselves with a hot cocoa shake. Let's talk about this Britney Spears incident. Okay. These fries. These fries are not warm. But they might still slap. Let's see. I love the current ones. They're still good. They're not slapping hot. McDonald's always has slapping hot fries. But they're still good. It's also like 9 a.m. Like, why would they have hot curly fries or should they have her hot curly fries because like right making the batch i don't know i'm not mad at it now britney spears going through the drive-thru britney spears went through a drive-thru and then she did this little rant on instagram 
about just her experience and it was all basically like her mental process her mental thoughts she didn't say any of this to the jack in the box employee because the jack in the box employee has since come out since her instagram post so on the instagram post she's like you know what i like forget to eat sometimes and which right away that's like concerning right it's concerning because Brittany has gone through so much right and it does, you don't just get over something so quick like okay she's free now she hasn't started like you're over, you know she's over it she obviously has had people like I remember I know she's like really she's been really bothered about the tabloid like tabloids calling her like saying she's gained weight and stuff like that like she's made posts saying like I haven't gained weight look at me I'm like I'm she has that popular one like I'm skinny as a needle which she she is she's so tiny and it's like okay like if, if someone like sits the wrong way or has a little fold especially back in the day tabloids would call people fat left right and center it was like okay if like if she, if she you know when you just sit down you could have like a six pack and sit down and there would be like a little skin that just kind of like ripples you know what i mean so like the paparazzi was horrible to her like it affected her as it would like most people you know you think like she's so beautiful and fit and thin and stuff like it wouldn't affect her like you know she's thin and brilliant. like people like are envious of her body but they just goes to show that everyone has like insecurities so her saying like she forgets to eat sometimes she drove by Jack the Max. She said all the big food was on display. They do. They have like these really cool posters of all the food and it looks so enticing. You saw when I drove by, I was like, hmm, favorite box. I want that. So she said she was crying that day, but she was like, nobody could tell. Well, she went through the drive-thru and the guy said something along the lines. The work at the window was like, you know, it's all going to be okay or something. So then she, in her head, and I get this, right? She's thinking no one can tell. I'm hiding it really well. You know, but then who knows what else she's thinking, right? He says this and she goes, oh my gosh. Like basically her, what she wrote was like, who is he? He doesn't know me. Like F you, you know? And this is all her mental process, right? She's not saying this. Like granted, she said it in an Instagram post, but like who hasn't overshared or said too much or said, you know, like, you know, angry ranted on it, like on social media when we're like, okay, maybe like we shouldn't have. I think she has every right to. I think that was her mental process, you know? And like, I, I don't think it was like bad she's held under a microscope people already want to be like what's wrong with britney britney you know there's so much speculation and conspiracy around her so pe she probably like deleted it or someone told her or she did or i don't know you know who knows like she obviously felt bad enough about it to delete it she maybe i shouldn't share that who knows what her thought process were but i get it sometimes I'm like maybe i should delete it but then if you delete it it's like oh my god they deleted that like you know why so then the jack in the box employee comes out supposedly on tiktok But for some reason, we all believe that this was the Jack in the Box employee that served Brittany. And it seemed genuine. It seemed real. And, like, hearing his side, like, it kind of was like, okay. So, basically, he's like, I was the one that was serving Brittany at the window. And he's like, you know, she came through you know, he's like, she looked upset, so I said, like, something. And he, and he said he immediately regretted it. He's like, as soon as I said it, I was like, why did I say that? That's so dumb. Like, he said he didn't recognize her, but she looked familiar. And I feel like that with, like, a lot of famous people, right? Like, they just look famous. Famous people just look famous, even if you can't put your finger on it, right? And I believe it, right? But he was like, she looks familiar, whatever. And I think in general, when, like, that happens, like, you would get, you would fumble over your words or something like that. And trust me, I get feeling stupid. Oh, my God. I remember when I had the Britney Spears meet and greet. I went to see her in Vegas. It's like two thousand dollars for the meet and greet and like front row tickets or something like that. Totally worth it. You got a picture with her, but it was very quick. They like ran through the line really quickly. I was the last one to that. Oh, maybe I'll get like in the last time. But they do tell you, not Brittany, but the people tell you like don't touch Brittany. And I get it, sickness, all that stuff like that. It's also a time, the Vegas residency. This was a time that we now know to be like a really hard time for Brittany because she was in this conservatorship. Like she was being controlled. Like she was like kind of being pushed to perform these shows. Like literally like a monkey. Like you know what I mean. So she was standoffish, you know. But like that could be for a number of reasons one obviously what she was going through two she was about to perform a big show three you know it's like she meets so many people like you know after so many so much she might be like okay this is a lot maybe she wasn't having a great day maybe you know maybe she just you know didn't want to do the meet and greets but they were kind of pushing her too you know who knows so many reasons i never like you know what i did i think at first i was like wow i'm like really sad because i remember telling her like oh my god i'm such a big fan and you smell really good which could be a little weird i don't think it'd be weird if someone said that to me but like I mean, maybe it was a little weird because like i was you know i was talking the game now i got really excited um and she kind of you know she didn't she didn't really respond and stuff like that but again i get it because she had just gone through the meet and greet line i'm the last person she has a show and now knowing what we know now like she probably was going through a lot back then and i've heard this with so many meet and greets like you don't really get a conversation it's more of a photo op which i love to this day i'm so excited about that picture with britney it's like framed in my house still to this day 
literally right next to my daughter. I have a picture of my daughter and I in the hospital when I gave birth and Brittany, me and Brittany, you know, like I did love her. So he's like, I felt so, as soon as I said it, I'm like, why did I say that? And I don't think it's clear, like exactly what was said. I gathered it was just along the lines of like, don't worry, it's all gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay or something like that, which doesn't sound bad. Tone can make it sound worse or the way you perceive something. If she was already having a bad day, the way she could perceive that is how basically how she said it on Instagram was like, F you, you don't know me. Like maybe she took it in some type of way. We don't know, we weren't there. All I do know is Jack and Box should sponsor Brittany because I was like, mm, Jack and Box sounds really good. The curly fries, are they better than Arby's? No. Did Arby's close down next to me? Yes, so this is my only option. I think that whole situation, once again, I got blown out of proportion. I think people, even some fans, are just looking to find something wrong with Brittany. I think there's a lot of concern, like from fans for sure. You know, people who generally are concerned. I think there's a lot of people who like want Britain to be in some sort of trouble or danger. They want the drama. They want, you know, they look more into things than they should. And then, you know, I think for me, as a Britney fan, like as a Britney stan, like I'm a stan, I'm more than just a fan. I just like want her to be okay and happy. And if she's okay and happy, like that's all that matters. And so a situation like this, when it gets blown out of proportion and people are like worried and concerned, it's like I don't know. I feel like it's like a little much. You know what I mean? I think there's like legitimate reasons to be concerned. Like she has a husband, Sam. I don't think she's like in this controlled thing where she like had to marry him. I think, you know, she looked really happy at her wedding. You know what I mean? I think she's, um, I think she is happy. I think she is in love. That's what I gather from it. And I just, you know, I just always wanted to be happy and okay. Cause she has made me happy and okay on so many times when I wasn't okay. You know, I've been like depressed in life for a long, long time in my life. Like the majority of my life I've had depression come and go. And I just wanted to be happy. She pulled me out of a lot of dark times. Her music, like, I know, like, that sounds silly and whatever because she's, like, a pop singer or whatever. But her music, her personality, the way she perseveres, like, she saved me through so many. And you know what? I you to the media who's called her fat. It's, like, like, not only, obviously, did it hurt her and affect her, it hurts, like, all her fans, like, no, very few people are Britney Spears' size. Like, she's, like, the 0.01% of the world. Like, she's very tiny, very petite. Very few people are that size. The majority of her fans, I would say, or majority of people in America are mid-size. Mid-size, right? I'm plus size. So, like, obviously seeing that, you're like, well, I must be, like, a freaking whale. Well, if it was a Jack in the Box guy, it doesn't sound like he took offense to it. You know, I don't, like, and I don't think she meant offense to it. I think she was ranting and she was maybe embarrassed or upset or it obviously affected her and why can't she use social media like everyone else is using social media which is like venting and pouring out your feelings and stuff I don't see anything wrong with it these are good I almost ate the whole thing Ugh. okay well, now I gotta go to Starbucks. <laughs> I actually thought this was gonna be like a coffee type thing, so I was like, this is my coffee. If I get Starbucks, I get coffee because it's my filming day and I really need to focus and film a lot of stuff. Because it's been hard to keep up with Vlogmas, y'all. I post daily on my family channel, I post daily on my ASMR channel, my podcast kind of fell off a little bit. I was posting daily and I'm like, well, that was really hard to keep up with. Mostly because I don't have like that much to talk about on there. <laughs> I'm kind of like, wait, what do I talk about today? Like, I could talk forever, but then I was like, I don't really have much to talk about. Why don't I have much to talk about? Because I do the podcast at the end of the day. And as you can see now, I'm doing all my rambling and ranting in the mornings. And then by the end of the day, I'm like, wait, I talked about everything I need to talk about. Mm. There's a Tesla. I wonder if, like, everyone, the people who don't like Elon Musk right now, it seems to be this whole anti-Elon Musk train. And I don't know if it's, like, warranted or not because I don't really keep up with anything. I have no idea. But I wonder if they're all going to get rid of their Teslas. <laughs> so many people have Teslas. I don't know the tea with Elon Musk, but my my baby girl Malibu made the New York Times this morning <laughs> as like an I memorable moment of 2022, and it was like in this like kids section, like the baby section, and like Elon Musk's baby was on was first, and then and then Malibu. <laughs> 
with the rumor of her being reincarnated as the queen was number two. And then there was only a third one, which is like Nepo babies, like Maud Apatow and Lily Rose Depp, I guess people just, I don't know. I didn't really read that part, but I was like, wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. And my picture of me like pregnant and stuff with her was like at the top of it. I was, uh, it was cool. New York Times was like, okay. Mm-hmm. There's so many Teslas. That's crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a different drink at Starbucks. I'm gonna throw this out because I'm gonna try it with my millions here. Mm. We'd love to know your thoughts on this whole Britney and Jack in the Box thing. Did you follow it? Were you aware? Britney stands like, what do we do? What do we do to help Britney? You know, I keep making videos because I hope she just sees support and love. I mean, we love her so much, and I think she knows that. I think she gets that. Um, but I wish people overall would stop speculating because speculation is bad. And you know what? I've speculated too. And it's just one speculation is just like energy draining, right? We're speculating about someone else's life. Like, oh, like it's kind of feels weird. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't like that when it's done to me. So I wish the speculation would stop. I feel like if there's genuine cause for concern, like Brittany lets us know, right? She lets us know. As far as her Instagram's concerned, again, I don't know Brittany personally, but like it feels like her, like it feels like her, right? Um, you know, people, when like, she posted the thing of Jamie Lynn, I thought, you know, people are like, oh, man, that's so weird. But it's normal to, like, change your feelings and emotions on someone. Based if, especially if you haven't seen them for a while. Maybe she was missing her sister. Maybe she was thinking about her sister. I just want to put it out there. Like, there are times definitely where I miss people that I've, like, despised. You know, and I'm like, oh, I kind of miss those good moments. You know what I mean? And you want to be sentimental and, like, say something. But, yeah, I don't know. As far as I think, I think it's her. But, again, I don't like to speculate unless, like, Unless we see, like, obviously she's at Jack in the Box and there was a Jack in the Box somewhere. Because everyone's like, a lot of people are like, Brittany's clone and Brittany, I don't believe all that. Like, I think she's, I think she's okay. I think she's happy in love. I think she's trying to love her best life and then people just won't let it happen because of all the speculation and the conspiracies. But truth always comes out. Light always comes out. Cream always rises at the top and Brittany is the cream of the crop. <laughs> she just is like, she's the frothy cream, cold brew with cinnamon and sprinkles in there. She's like the best. So, um... I know she'll be okay. I pray she'll be okay. She is like a light that shines too bright for this world. You know how there's like sometimes light is too bright or a note is too high that like you can't even hear it? Like that's her. She's just this like high note bright light and I love her. All right guys. So if you guys want me to do a Starbucks part two, I'm probably going to film it. But if you guys want it on this main channel, let me know. If not, I'll put it on my family channel. But I have some, I have some thoughts about Megan and Harry. Someone who's never cared about the royal family, I have some thoughts. So yeah, let me know if you want that part too. All right, bye guys.